Then, all the people of Judah took Uzziah, who was sixteen years old, and made him king in place of his father Amaziah. He was the one who rebuilt Elath and restored it to Judah after Amaziah rested with his ancestors. Uzziah was sixteen years old when he became king, and he reigned in Jerusalem fifty-two years. His mother's name was Jecoliah. She was from Jerusalem. He did what was right in the eyes of the Lord, just as his father Amaziah had done. He sought God during the days of Zechariah, who instructed him in the fear of God. As long as he sought the Lord, God gave him success. He went to war against the Philistines and broke down the walls of Gath, Jabne, and Ashdod. He then rebuilt towns near Ashdod and elsewhere among the Philistines. God helped him against the Philistines and against the Arabs who lived near Gurbaal, and against the Muonites. The Ammonites brought tribute to Uzziah, and his fame spread as far as the border of Egypt because he had become very powerful. Uzziah built towers in Jerusalem at the corner gate, at the valley gate, and at the angle of the wall, and he fortified them. He also built towers in the wilderness, and dug many cisterns, because he had much livestock in the foothills and in the plain. He had people working in his fields and vineyards in the hills, and in the fertile lands, for he loved the soil. Uzziah had a well-trained army, ready to go out by divisions, according to their numbers, as mustered by Jael the secretary, and Maaseiah, the officer under the direction of Hananiah, one of the royal officials. The total number of family leaders over the fighting men was 2,600. Under their command was an army of 307,500 men, trained for war, a powerful force to support the king against his enemies. Uzziah provided shields, spears, helmets, coats of armor, bows, and slingstones for the entire army. In Jerusalem, he made devices invented for use on the towers and on the corner defenses so that soldiers could not shoot arrows and hurl large stones from the walls. This fame spread far and wide, for he was greatly helped until he became powerful. But after Uzziah became powerful, his pride led to his downfall. He was unfaithful to the Lord his God, and entered the temple of the Lord to burn incense on the altar of incense. Azariah the priest with eighty other courageous priests of the Lord followed him in. They confronted King Uzziah and said, It is not right for you, Uzziah, to burn incense to the Lord. That is for the priests, the descendants of Aaron, who have been consecrated to burn incense. Leave the sanctuary, for you have been unfaithful, and you will not be honored by the Lord God. Uzziah, who had a censer in his hand, ready to burn incense, became angry. While he was raging at the priests in the presence before the incense altar in the Lord's temple, leprosy broke out on his forehead. When Azariah the chief priest and all the other priests looked at him, they saw that he had leprosy on his forehead. So they hurried him out. Indeed, he himself was eager to leave, because the Lord had afflicted him. King Uzziah had leprosy until the day he died. He lived in a separate house, leprous, and banned from the temple of the Lord. Jotham his son had charge of the palace and governed the people of the land. The other events of Uzziah's reign from beginning to end are recorded by the prophet Isaiah son of Amos. Uzziah rested with his ancestors and was buried near them in a cemetery that belonged to the kings. For people said he had leprosy and Jotham his son succeeded him as king.